Hello, Mike here with Cameron and Harold again. Um, Harold's got something for me to cook today, uh, blind, so I don't get any instructions or anything. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for stuff that you want uh, Harold's challenge me to cook, then put it in the comments. Um, what have you got for me today, Harold? So today, Mike, we've got something a little bit different. Um, this is one of my grandma's specialties, a traditional Belgian recipe. Okay. Um, and it's called Stoffles. Okay. Can I uh, see how you spell that? Yep. Okay. So I guess then this is Flemish. I think uh, stoof probably is uh, like stove, something like that. But I don't really know what it is. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, do I get do I get a picture of this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> so I get a picture. There you go. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. All right. So maybe flares is fly fries. I don't know. It looks like some sort of a beefy thing, I think. Um, okay, so I mean, I don't know. I think I can make something pretty similar to this, but I don't really know what makes this uh, unique. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how close I'm going to get, but it could be could be pretty close. If you get the recipe done, I'll be I'll be very impressed. So okay. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how close you get. We'll see how it goes. All right, so stew please. Let's see how this goes. Um, so I've been to the shop, bought this beef, um, bought some parsley as well. Although it turns out, it where it looks like in the picture, it's uh, thyme. But um, see how that goes. I've uh, cut a bunch of potatoes as well for the uh, fries. Um, right. Let's go. Um, so I didn't really see any vegetables in the um, in the picture, but I figure some onion and garlic can't really hurt since this basically looks like a stew. Um, so maybe a bit of flavour, maybe a bit of a uh, little bit of vegetables. That should be all right. Just uh, show you how I did the potato. So I got this thing; it's pretty good. Um, like uh, some of them came out a bit bendy, but pretty good uh, chip shape. So I'm just gonna sort of uh, bang that in there a bit. Boom! Right. All right. So I got the beef. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, salt and pepper and stuff on there. I guess I'll take out this squid. Um, all right, so I've made uh, like stews and stuff before, but this one kind of looks like quite a thick sauce. Um, so I'm not really sure how exactly I'm going to do that. Well, there's another thing in the cupboard that uh, Harold's, but might might be good. I don't know. Sort of like an allspice. I think it's got a bit of MSG in it, so that's probably going to make things uh, better. Um, but yeah, so my plan is to kind of sear this beef a bit. Um, then just kind of do it low and slow for uh, quite a while. So I'm just going to add some uh, oil in here. All right then, this is uh, looking pretty hot. Um, so I'm just going to dump all this in there. Definitely a bit of browning on it. Definitely too much oil. But it's probably too late now. It should be alright. Actually, I'm going to get rid of it a bit. There we go. 
Yeah, it's looking good. Try and uh, get them browned on all sides. Probably shouldn't move them around as much. Just get a bit of a uh, little bit of crust on there, but I don't know. That's how it goes. stuff. Maybe don't don't tell Harold, but there we go. Alright, that's some nice colour I'm just gonna move it off the heat for a second. Add in the uh, onions. Add the garlic in a bit. Uh, so I don't know if I should put this in the oven or just keep it on the hob the whole time. I might just go the hob. Just uh, seems easier. medium high I guess probably more medium than high I really don't want to overdo this this beef here it feels like it's getting a bit hard all right I'll uh, call it there I've got a little bit of stock that I want to add Got a bit of, this, bit of the sauce. Now I want to turn it real, right down. So this one is just sort of stew for a bit. All right. So now I'm just going to leave that sit for, let that sit for a while. Alright, so I just took a bit out and tasted it. Seems okay. Could be maybe a bit more flavour. The reason I'm putting this bowl is because this will just make loads of like white lumps. I don't really want to have to fish around in, in here to in the big big pan to squash. So if I do this in here, it should be easier to probably mix all this in. So there's probably still a bit too much liquid in there. All right, so I'm back. Uh, looks like this is thickened up a bit, looking okay. Uh, it's been on a while. What I want to do is I'm going to move it up to the uh, top. I can start making the chips. Right. I need to get this all pretty hot. Try not to start a fire. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to chop some, uh, chop some herbs. A bit, of, a bit of garnish. Never actually cooked chips like this before, so I'm not really sure how long they take. Um, but I'll just go by uh, colour, it seems like a good plan. Let's 
is looking okay. Got some light on there. Not quite like the picture. And it should be pretty, pretty tasty. Try and put these in probably gently because I don't want to spill all this oil everywhere. Feathers looking pretty good now. Right. So I'm going to sort these guys up a bit now while they're still uh, a bit wet. Give them a mix them around a bit. Alright, so here we are. Here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty close to the to the picture. Um, so I guess I'll have a taste. I think I think we decided a new uh, scoring system where we uh, we see how if it if it tastes good, uh, how how it looks, uh, and then how accurate it is compared to the to the real thing. Um, and then maybe like a final verdict uh, to see if it's uh, I don't know, just good or not. Let's so I'll have a taste. I guess Harold has got his own plate here, so uh Seems alright. I mean this may be a bit sweet. And maybe the the beef could probably could have done with a bit more time, I think. Mean. Right. What's uh what's your verdict on a uh, taste Harold? So, having tried the beef and the chips, I've only tried one piece of each, but um, the chips taste really good. Well, I'm very impressed at how they've come out. Um, the beef, I think the flavor is good, but the texture, it's just not the, it's meant to sort of fall apart as you put it in your mouth and it's still, it's, it's, uh, it's not quite that soft. Yeah, yet. maybe I rushed it, but um, all right. So, on the, on the taste, Mainly based on the texture, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sadly. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's the next one we got here? The uh, the look. So the look is, I mean, definitely thumbs up. It okay. looks, it looks exactly <laughs> like the picture. I'm super, really impressed. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. good. Uh, right. What's the next one? Accuracy, Accuracy. To, the, to the recipe. Um. So, what did you put in this? Uh, not like a lot of stuff. Uh. Like salt, put a bit of salt and pepper on the beef to start it off. Um, I added like uh, so you can't really see them now actually, but I added a bit of um, onions and garlic in there. Um, fried it up a bit. Uh, then I added some like stock, sort of just to. I thought it was going to be basically making a stew. Um, then I guess I tasted it a bit, seasoned it a bit more. Uh, so I've added too much sugar, I think, but a little bit of sugar, maybe well, maybe a little bit too much sugar, but uh, a bit of more salt and stuff. No, not like not that much more stuff really. It's a uh, bit of corn flour, I guess, to figure out, figure out the sauce a bit. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm we'll just garnish with a bit <laughs> of parsley. To be honest, I'm, I'm going to say that the chips are like very close to the real thing. Um, the beef, I think the main the main error you made seems like. 
just the, the cooking time. I think when my when my grandma does it, she cooks it for like two or three hours. Okay. Um, after searing it, um, the flavor is it's not that far off. I think a couple of things you missed. You said there's a secret. Yeah. yeah what's, so what's, the, what's the secret you missed? <laughs> so oh, I had, to, I, mean, I had your uh, little secret uh, Belgian secret. <laughs> yeah. thing, so. uh, <laughs> you what? <laughs> Um, so there's a uh, beer. She put some beer in it. Yeah, um, I thought that whole thing for cooking, but it was, it was too late by the time I thought of it. <laughs> she put some sour cherries in it to like okay. add like a slightly sour taste. I'm, I mean, I'm glad I did. This. <laughs> and um, to thicken it up, she puts a slice of bread with mustard on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, to be fair, though, I so think, we get the overall uh, verdict here. Yeah. So I think overall. I'm pretty impressed. Okay. I, I think this is really good based on just the name and the picture. <laughs> and I'm confident that if you did it again, now you need to cook it for longer. It's going to be exactly like my grandma's. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Well done. I'm glad I saw the picture in this one because I think I would probably would have made pancakes somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a win then. That's, uh, yeah, good.